Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to discuss another method that the operations department uses to manage its inventory more efficiently. And the problem that we're trying to solve here with this method called just in time inventory management system is an age old problem. Traditionally, how companies have gone about their business is that they would like to order in the inventory all at once. And it makes sense too, right? Because the larger your amount is, the larger your bulk discount is going to be. So it saves you on your cost. So you're looking to order all your inventory in at once. But we've seen that with that process, there's certain costs that start going up for a business. So if we are this business here trying to manage our inventory and we get on the train that, hey, it's okay to order an inventory. We'll be done with that process. So let's do it now. Every time you look to increase your inventory, certain costs go up. And the first and the most obvious one is that companies sees an increase in the storage cost. If you look to increase your inventory even more, it has a grave effect on the liquidity of the company. And if you continue to do that even more, you're ordering in stuff, you're incurring all these extra costs, yet your output is not maybe produced at a faster rate. So if your input to output ratio doesn't increase, then you also see a fall in your efficiency. So there's a lot to fix when you start piling up your inventory and surely to you it's also obvious that this is not such a great idea. Just in time is the method that looks to solve this problem. So just in time or simply called JIT is the antidote to all the problems that you see incurring when you have too much inventory. The storage costs, lack of liquidity, lack of efficiency, chances of theft, chances of shrinkage, all of those things are resolved when a business employs a system called JIT. And the simple idea that we're trying to aim to avoid holding large amounts of inventory because obviously that comes with all those added costs and only order in our inventory just when it is needed for production. So let's say you produce a car and you produce the tires locally yourself, but all the other stuff is coming from other parts of the country or even other parts of the world. Maybe the engine's coming from a different part of the world, so that's gonna take you longer. The tire's not gonna take you much time. Maybe the, the glass work is gonna take a couple of weeks. So you have to make sure that you order in stuff, keeping in mind the amount of time it takes for it to be delivered. And with all that worked out, the raw materials are coming in only when you know that an order has been placed by the customer. So this is where the operations and marketing department has to again work very closely because once the order is generated from the marketing department as they are also responsible for the sales aspect of a business. So as soon as there's an order, the operations department must be in a place that the raw materials are coming in just in time for to, uh, for the business to start production on that unit for the customer. So it literally removes the idea of keeping buffer stock. That's out the window. We will stay as efficient as possible so that we don't have to store, we don't have to worry about our cash flow problems. And just when the order is received, we bring in the supplies, start producing, and as soon as it's done, there is no need to store it, just deliver it to the customer right away. And this process is also quite useful when it's made to order stuff. So whenever customers have to have something customized, a job production method, that's where just in time would be working quite efficiently because you don't want to keep things from before because you don't know what the customer is going to order if it's going to be a customized good. So bring it in, produce, get it out to the customer, reduce your storage cost. But it's not all that easy. There, there's a lot of things you need going in your favor for this system to work efficiently. And the first and foremost reason, the foremost uh, aspect that you want going in your favor, if you want just in time to be a success, is that your suppliers be very, very reliable. If your suppliers are delayed in their delivery, if they are mixed up in the quality of the product that you've ordered, or if they're not even giving you the right quantity of it, 
any of those aspects are jeopardized, then your own production method gets halted and the whole process gets delayed and you can't deliver to your customer because you didn't have a reliable supplier. So reliability of supplier is crucial if you want just in time to work. Secondly, you gotta make sure that you have flexible labor and equipment because you're only ordering in small quantities. You may be, uh, you may have to respond to a change in the customer preferences and that way you can order in small quantities because it's just in time. But for that to be produced, you also need your labor force and equipment to be able to make the switch from one kind of production method to another. So that's also important. Also, without an accurate sales forecast, this won't work because you're only bringing in stuff when it's time to deliver or when the order received from the customer. So you've got to somehow be able to predict when that next order is going to come. And that's what the marketing department does with its sales forecasting methods. And finally, you need to have everyone thinking about quality, 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 because you can't have any wastage. You're only ordering small quantities. There are no spares. So all your workers need to know that we need to get it right. We need to get it correct. We need to have the right quality in the product. So quality becomes everyone's priority because there's nothing else to fall back on. So if you can have all of these within the organization, then you are set to make the best of just-in-time inventory management. Now let's look at some of the advantages and disadvantages to a business specifically when they use this uh, particular method. So when we discuss the advantages of just-in-time inventory management, they're all about solving the problems of having too much inventory. And you will remember when we discuss having too much inventory, we start facing the problems of more storage costs. Just-in-time removes that. So that's the first advantage to a business. There is reduction in storage costs. You don't have to pay rent. There is no added inf insurance that you need to take out on your goods. There is no fear of theft on the added amount of products. It's only small amount. So even if something bad happens, it's only a small loss, not a big one. So at least there's that ease for the business. Also, it releases the cash for the business. So you have fewer liquidity problems. You can use your money for other important things because it's not tied up in your inventory. And with less space taken by the inventory, you will, have en you will end up having more space for production so you can actually do things that are making cash for you not holding cash for you so that is a very big positive to come out of this and because you're ordering small quantities every time you can respond to customer changes very quickly so change in season change in fashion you quickly order a new type of inventory and you can meet that customer demand however the disadvantages are you are 100% reliant upon your suppliers to be accurate every time. So if they can't do that, then you lose your own uh, efficiency and you can't deliver to your customers and that's not something that you want to do. It brings you bad reputation. Also, you lose all the bulk discounts, right? You are ordering a small quantities every time and suppliers only provide discounts for those orders that are in large quantities. And since you're ordering small quantities every time, you have to hire someone to keep checking the levels and ordering and making sure that the new order that is coming in is of the right quantity. You have a little bit of increase in your administrative costs. So keeping track of things and hiring people to do that adds to the cost of a business. And finally, any delays, as we discussed earlier, that if your, if your supplier is delayed, your own production gets delayed. So any any delay can cause major problems for your own production. So good with bad, but just in time is a great way to reduce the problems of having too much inventory.